this is David. Today I'm going to talk about the Azure repos inside of an Azure DevOps project. Now I'm looking right now at the project I created in the last video. That's DG Test Project. Uh, and if you notice on the left, there is a menu here. And one of those menu options is repos. There's a bunch of sub options, but the first one is selected by default. When I select repos, it selects files. And it shows the only file in here, which is a readme file. But I can add more files to that. I can click on new file or new folder, select like new file. I'll call it um, file one. Now this isn't source code, but because most source code is just text files, it'll work really well um, for demonstrating my purposes. And I can come in here and say this is file one. I just created it. Okay. And then I'll commit that. You notice I'm committing it to the master branch. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to commit it to the master branch. I can put a comment here more descriptive than that. Initial revision. That's fine. Uh, if I had work items, I could associate it with a work item, but I don't have any yet. I'll do that in a later video. And here it is. And if I want to, I can come back here and select this file again and change it. Edit that. Change one and commit it. Put a directly to the master branch. That works just fine. Um, but uh, generally speaking, if you're working with multiple users, you probably don't want to be committing directly to the master branch because you might mess up something that they're doing. You may be committing at the same time. And so it's a good idea to commit to a new branch and then create a pull request and merge from that new branch into the master branch. And how I can do that inside of the browser is that I will switch from the master to a new branch. I'll call this new branch and I'm just going to call it I'll call it DG branch. Just put my initials in it. Create branch right there. Okay. And then when I edit it, because I'm on that DG branch, I'll say change to and I'll commit that and I'm committing it to the DG branch, not to the master branch. So you'll notice I switch back over to the master branch right here and I look at file one. It doesn't have my change. It still says change one. My change is here in DG branch. There's change two right here. And to get them to merge these together, the first step I need to do is to create a pull request. So down here under repos, we have a pull request option. I'll click on that. And this link right here says create a pull request. I will click that. And I can give it a title, updated file one. If there's only one change, it'll just take that from the commit of that. But you can override that. You can even add a very detailed description right here. And there's some other options here that I'll cover in later videos. But what I want to do is I'll just create that pull request right here. And there it is. Now I've created the pull request. This is a request to merge from DG branch into the master branch right here. And then what can happen is that you'll have people that will come along, they'll examine it. You can set up policies to say how, what, the, what has to happen before they, they merge it. But then once they do this, then somebody else could come along and say complete. Or because I don't have any rules set up, I can do this myself. Click on this complete button. In fact, if I go away from it and come back into repos, pull request. It lists the one pull request that's there. It's this one right here. And I open it up and I click on complete. And then it's, I could put a comment in here if I want to. And it's just, this little diagram says, here's the master branch. Here's my changes that will be merged back into it. So let me complete that merge. And now that it's done, now I can go back to the files and I should be able to look at file one in the master branch and I see that now it has my change. So, so uh, you can do this right here in the browser. In all likelihood, if you're working with source control, you'll probably want to either do it at the command line using some git commands, or you'll do it through an IDE like Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. But the process is the same. I create files, I edit those files, commit them to an extra branch, create a pull request, which is a request to merge from my extra branch into the master branch. Someone approves that and that merges them, those changes in. In this video, I've shown you how to work with files and branches in an Azure repo in Azure DevOps. This is David. Thank you for watching.